Have you ever started a project and then regretted it? Here's my latest tale of woe. Hi, welcome to Chadwick Model Railway. I'm Charlie. In the previous video, I did a trial installation of the viaduct into the layout. And one of the crucial um, points was obviously trying to get it to line up properly so that the batten and the baseboard had to be at the right height. Now, before I set out finalising um, the exact detail of what will go on this board, obviously besides the viaduct, um, there was a few sort of housekeeping bits I had to do first. Um, one of which was to repaint this wall white because um, the last thing you want to do is start climbing over your layout to put a couple of uh, raw plugs in. Um, and also, I popped down to B&Q and bought myself another 2.5 um, metre shelf to get more of the layout up and out of the way. So once those two was done, I then needed to concentrate on the back scene. Now this back scene that runs along this side that I'm sure you've seen on a previous video is 15 inches high. And clearly on this one, um, this is 27 inches. And I spoke to John at Art Printers Limited, and he agreed to make a 48 inch um, high back scene for me of just sky. Now the reason I wanted it just sky and I didn't want any um, hills and stuff in the background is as my hillside would come down here and then through the, um, in behind the viaduct and back up the other side, it's hard to know where exactly you want the hills. So what I asked him to do was to produce um, a back scene for me that was um, 120 inches long. Is that right? Six, yeah, 10 foot long um, across the background. It will come in two pieces um, and 48 inches high. Um, as it happens, I've done the back scene. I've cut it down and it's actually, I need, what I need is 27 inches high to go from here the top of the back scene to there which is the top of the batten so that should work in quite well and here is the first back scene with a, the corner trimmed out um, which would go into the far corner there um, ready to go what I am going to do this time though is I'm actually going to size the wall and that's to say I'm going to put a coat of wallpaper paste on the wall prior to pasting the paper and then fitting the paper what I found last time, and hopefully there should be a video here um, where I explained how to do the last back scene, the manufacturers didn't mention about sizing the wall. I think they, they probably didn't want me to do it, so I just adhered to their instructions. And it was a struggle, but it went up okay. In the kind of household decorating that I've done in the past, I've always sized the wall prior to putting out rolls of wallpaper. So what I'm going to do this time is I'll do that, size it, paste it, put up the back scene at the, the first piece and see how we get on. And then we'll speak a little later about the design of the board that's going to go here. Well, it's now 24 hours later and as you can see, the back scene's on. From a distance, it looks okay. And the match in the corner, now I've put the hillside back in, isn't too bad at all. All I need to do is just a pop a tree in the top corner and it'll look okay. I mentioned there were two panels both five feet by both five foot wide and there they are up but sadly the join in the middle is extremely obvious and I just can't abide it it's not necessarily a problem with art printers it's more to do with um, it's a plain background so it'll naturally show the seam quite easy but um, I'm clearly not the wallpaper and expert that I thought I was so what are my options well I could live with it and that really um, isn't going to happen. I really want the, the board that goes here with the viaduct to be a really good piece of modelling. And I'm so looking forward to doing the river um, with epoxy resin and a farm scene and everything else. I really, really, really can't live with that line. So um, if I can't live with it, then I have to change it. So what I think I'll do is next I'm going to try and airbrush um, the, the cloud area at least and see what it looks like then. If that doesn't work, I will probably phone up art scenes, uh, sorry, art printers and ask them to send me another um, back, back scene. Tear this one down, ditch it, put another one up. But this time, instead of two five foot panels, what I thought I would do is from the corner to out to 30 inches, have one panel, then a five foot panel straight across the middle 
and then another 30 inch panel on the other end. So there will be two joins rather than one, but the two joins, one will be in this area here and the other one will be at the corresponding um, distance at the other end. So the main panel in the middle will have no seam. Um, that's my other option. And finally, the option, of course, is just to um, paint a back seam myself and just you put a sky blue uh, back scene in and perhaps try and airbrush in some clouds. I'm really not that good um, creatively to do that so um, I'll get the airbrush out and have a go um, and we'll get back to you when I've made a mess of that.